Hey friend, Tyvin's here, back in Dead Cell. Dead Cells! Uh, we're playing a horror mode. Uh, look how pretty this is. We still have... I don't know, last I counted it was like 25 things to collect still, which is ridiculous, but I guess a lot of them you have to be on hard and harder and hardest mode to get. Anyway, I wanted to show you one of the hardest blueprints to get. If you jump over here, you'll see it! Did you see it real quick? You saw a blueprint over there, right? Look at that. All right. That is the disengagement blueprint, which is probably one of the best blueprints in the game uh, that you can get for fighting a boss. So when you die in the game, not when you die, when you beat the boss in the game, you get a new ability that you can right stick like this and move this around and attach it to enemies and slowly drain their health. It actually is pretty nice. But what you can do is stand right here this is how you get it. And you can control this just like your character. You see, you can jump around. So you jump up this wall. And you make this epic jump. You gotta make that jump. You can double jump as well. I don't know why I didn't double jump then. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass to do. There we go. So you get up here. And you do like a stair pattern. Get over here. Oh! That happens sometimes. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Okay, let's try that again. Third time is a joy. Just keep jumping. I don't know why it's not getting it. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? Now you gotta beat the level to turn it in. Turn it in? There it is. If your hit point falls below 20%, a force field protects you for six seconds. It can only be used every two minutes. That is pretty killer in a boss fight because you can either use a healing potion or for six seconds you'll be invulnerable. And that's how you get the disengagement ring, guys. And we'll put one cell in it. 